Thanks, Dennis. The day began with Conservative House Leader Candace Bergen's request for an emergency debate. She said there's a crisis of confidence in the government, all the way from the Prime Minister to the Cabinet to Michael Wernick, the Clerk of the Privy Council, to the current Ministers of Justice and Finance. House Speaker Jeff Regan granted that emergency debate and it'll begin in just under an hour from now. Today, most Liberal MPs have refused to take one side or the other. Some saying they're both right and the truth is somewhere there in the middle. One exception was the Liberal MP for Mission Masqui, Fraser Canyon. In a report published in a local Abbotsford, B.C. paper, he stated that Wilson Raybould's testimony was sour grapes and that her discomfort with what she described as political interference showed her lack of experience. Needless to say, it was brought up in question period. Now we have the Liberal member for Mission Masqui, right. Fraser Canyon, declaring that her statements yesterday were merely sour grapes and that she was being, that her father was pulling her strings. What, what disrespect to the former Attorney General? Is this the lines of the Liberal Party? Will they apologize for these sexist, misogynist comments? At the end of question period, MP Jati Sidhu apologized for his remarks. Elizabeth May's question came in the form of some advice for the government. Advice from my heart to my friends in the Liberal Party. Do not dispute the truth of what our former Minister of Justice has said. Do not attempt to question or undermine or impugn her integrity. No one will believe them if they do. What they must do is tell the truth, let the chips fall where they may, starting with these three steps. Call for a public inquiry, release the former Minister of Justice from restrictions in her evidence, and fire the clerk of the Privy Council office. We have more reaction on the Hill to the Wilson-Raybould testimony on Nation to Nation. It's the topic of discussion with our panel of MPs as is the question of whether the scandal is interfering with government business important to Indigenous people. That's coming up right after the national news. Back to you, Dennis.